Hi, I'm Flor Castillo, and this is Tell It Like It Is. In recent years, smartphones have become an important way for Americans to communicate, go online, access, and share information. But there can also be addicting consequences with the constant use of phones. So this week, we are exploring classroom cell phone policies at Northampton High School. Northampton High School's electronic devices policy states that the use of personal electronic devices is considered a privilege and not a right in school, and students should be responsible for using them at appropriate times. I spoke to teachers Donna Canyon brown and Deborah Kuhn to get their perspective on the role of cell phones in classrooms. In a perfect world, I think that kids would voluntarily put them away although I think that's unlikely. So I would like to see it be a more firm policy where students could use them at lunch or between classes, but not during the class unless specifically needed for an assignment. Mostly I really don't want to see them. I want them in the backpacks with the backpack zipped up. So the temptation is completely gone. I think some of the negative impacts have to do with the amount of energy I have to expend as a teacher because I end up spending time monitoring cell phone use um, and I don't think that's a good use of my time um, and the reason I want to make the reason I want to make sure that the kids don't have their phones out at inappropriate times is that it's really really distracting. The conversation around cell phone use by young adults is one happening across the country. Recently, Jana partners a leading activist shareholder and California teacher pension investor, CALSDRS, one of the nation's largest public pension plans, delivered a letter to Apple asking the company to consider developing software that will allow parents more options to limit children's phone use and asking Apple to study the impact of excessive phone use on mental health. I heard something on NPR, I think, where they were talking about suing Apple the way they sued the tobacco companies because of the addictive effects of cell phone. And th they also talked about putting your phone on gray scale so it's not as colorful and therefore not as attractive. Um, and that seems like a good idea. Um, I think ultimately people are going to have to come to these conclusions on their own. Um, but I think knowledge and more education is certainly required. It scares me a little bit that some kids become dependent on their phones and it also scares me a little bit because a lot of the studies that come out um, relate increased phone use to depression especially among young girls. Each teacher in school has different strategies to deal with cell phones in their classroom such as asking students for their cell phones before class and keeping it in a box, giving students a five minute break during class to use their cell phone and more all to be able to keep helping students with their learning. I'm Fleur Castillo and this was Tell It Like It Is.